Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 68th annual performance of the Grand Rapids Community College Musical Moods. This year, we are performing the concert on two nights. Each evening's performance will be different, and you should know that you are welcome to come back tomorrow night with the same ticket. So you don't need to pay twice. We would love for you to come back and hear tomorrow night's performance. And you can see the uh, Friday night's performance listed in tonight's program. So you'll see what you will be missing if you don't return. I would like to share with you this evening that tonight's performance will not be performed in exactly a collage format, which means we would like to encourage you to applaud in between acts and not wait until the very end. That way our students get a taste of how much you appreciate their work. I'd also like to admonish you to take out your cellular devices and turn them off. Or at least put them in silent mode. You don't have to put them in airplane mode. And I think that's about all I have to say. I'd like to welcome everyone, and now, Dr. Barton and the Concert Choir.
bitter Stars have lost their glitter Winds grow colder Suddenly you're older And all because of the man That got away
this wild, lonesome rose And up the morning sun will light the path I chose And darling, you were born for this You were born When I hear the rushing of the tide Shall not. 
We've heard the tales since we were young, heard the songs that have been sung about an evil spell. Someone beautiful is cursed, we feel sad through every verse, till a kiss and all is well. The message that no one can see is clearer to someone like me. There is no curse or evil spell. That's worse than one we give ourselves. There is no sorcerer as cruel as the proud, angry fool. And yet we cry life isn't fair. Beneath our cries the truth is there. The power that will break this spell we should know very well is locked within ourselves. Yet we'd rather blame and curse our fate than change. We'd run from everyone to hide from the pain. And all the shame. The story's old, we know it well. About a wretched evil spell The power that will break this curse Oh, I know all too well Is locked within myself Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Before we have our final act this evening, I'd like to acknowledge all of the ensemble directors who were responsible for the performances this evening, and especially those students who were in small ensembles and, their, and the soloists as well. But we also have some very special awards. And instead of uh, having all the students come up, because I know that could be kind of clumsy, I'm gonna call out their names and we'll make sure that they get these awards later in the evening or perhaps tomorrow. These awards are for students who went above and beyond the call of duty, especially in their ensembles. And so I'm going to acknowledge those students this evening. From the college choir, Ashley Campanali, and I should also mention, and I don't think the students know this, that along with these beautiful awards, there's a special gift on the back, and we want to make sure that they know that that gift is there because we would hate for them to forget and not use it. Also, from the wind ensemble, Kara DeVries, who's sitting right down here. And also from the Wind Ensemble, Sam Danier, also sitting right here. From the campus band, who we heard earlier in the evening, Margaret Minima. And then here's another student that we'd like to acknowledge because he's been in a number of things this evening, playing many different instruments. Pete Sapkowski from In the Wind Ensemble. And then finally, Clay Towery in the Piano Quartet. Thank you. And now, the Wind Ensemble.
Thank you all for coming this evening. Thank you so much. We hope you'll come back tomorrow night for a completely different show with a number of our different ensembles. Thank you so much. Drive safely.